Hey, how's it going folks? My name is Lieutenant Zach Frills. I'm with Patrol Squadron 16 and I'm here at the London Air Show 2022 with the P-8 uh, Poseidon behind me. I'm going to take you on a quick walk around now and just point out some of the differences between this and a normal 7.3 and upgrades from maybe some of its predecessors uh, that the U.S. and Canada has had in the past. So what we'll see um, if we were to take a step back is you can see that one of the big differences between this plane and a normal 7.3 is what's called the URC receptacle on the top and that allows us the capability to do in-flight refueling which greatly increases the range and the duration of the missions that we're able to fly in this aircraft. Multiple sensors, multiple antennas on board as you can see as you're looking around the aircraft we have a huge communication suite and this allows us the opportunity to uh, pretty much act as a command and control platform when uh, asked to. And so the communication suite allows us to talk to multiple different platforms, ships, planes, helicopters, ground stations, all at the same time, and pass information on to other assets in the area. And so you can see this plane is covered with antennas, and that's a big help for us. Some of the other capabilities you have, uh, we have the capability to uh, carry flares for self-protection on this aircraft. Obviously, it's a 7-3, so you see the CFM-56 TAC-7 high bypass turbofan engines so as opposed to the p3 that the navy uh, used to fly these turbofan engines are tried and true on the 7.3s very efficient great at increasing our range and flying fast both high and low another difference you might see from here uh, from a normal 7.3 are the raked wingtips as opposed to the wingtip devices that a lot of commercial 7.3s have this uh, helps with our uh, efficiency and fuel flow for long missions on station. And since we're not as worried about fitting into tight spots in a commercial airport, we have the space to have that in increase in added uh, efficiency on board the plane. This plane does have the capability to uh, carry missiles on board. We have hard points um, on each wing, which adds to the uh, anti-surface warfare mission set of the P-8. Just one of the many mission sets that we have uh, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, command and control, and even search and rescue. Jack of all trades with this plane. As we get to the back here, you can see cut out here is the weapons bay. We have the ability to carry uh, torpedoes as well. The primary mission of the P-8 is anti-submarine warfare. Uh, so the idea is this uh, aircraft can go out cold water, search for an aircraft, refine that position, and then complete the kill chain uh, with a torpedo if necessary. You can even see behind the weapons bay here, you have these openings. These are the sonar buoy, uh, the exits for the sonar buoy launchers. So launching sonar buoys is our main way of uh, prosecuting submarines. Used acoustically, we're basically just uh, launching large microphones into the water to try and listen uh, for the submarines or maybe actively acquire them and we have the ability to launch many, many, many sonar buoys uh, and stay on station tracking someone if necessary uh, for long periods of time as well. Hi, my name is Mallory Brindley. Uh, I'm a member of the VP-16 War Eagles based out of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we fly the P-8 Poseidon and I'm the tactical coordinator on board this P-8 Poseidon. Uh, typical crew makeup is gonna be about nine crew members. Uh, we have three pilots up in the flight deck, two naval flight officers in the back, and four sensor operators. We have two electronic warfare operators and two acoustic operators that operate their various uh, suites. My job as the tactical coordinator is to kind of handle the overall picture of whatever the mission that day is, whether it's uh, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, uh, or intelligence collections. Uh, whatever the mission of the day is, it's my job to decide tactics. Uh, and we work together as a crew to execute that mission. On my most recent deployment, uh, we did anti-submarine missions, anti-surface missions, intelligence collection, uh, and even search and rescue missions. Whenever we showed up for the brief that day, the P-8 was capable of executing whatever the tasking was uh, with little to no problems at all. Uh, we had even times on deployment where we would go out uh, and planning on doing anti-submarine warfare and we'd get retasked in the middle of our mission to go conduct search and rescue. Uh, and the P-8 was ready and capable to do that whenever and wherever uh, the call came from. 